verify ip parameters for client os windows mac os linux <clears throat> so this is a new topic which is introduced for the first time in this new ccna 200301 okay so what does it mean so it is nothing but it is the it, it is it is an information on setting up ip parameters on these platform okay platform like windows mac linux say for example right now i am on windows okay so how do i check my ip parameters if i do ip config here it will pull all the ip parameters so what does a uh, valid network information should look like it should have an ip address uh assigned to your system along with the subnet mask along with the gateway so these three are very much important or mandatorily okay without these three information you your laptop cannot connect to a uh, internet or something okay so what are the three things that get at uh, that get uh assigned to these adapters so these are adapters okay so what are adapters these are nic card okay nic card has a chip inbuilt which is capable of transmitting and receiving the internet packets okay say for example if i type laptop nic cards so these are the inbuilt nic cards network adapter okay so this will be placed inside your laptop desktop laptop even your smartphones okay so what happens is the nic card will be assigned ip address and that is how whatever we say for example if i open up anything it it goes to the nic card nic card will process the packet it will send to <clears throat> my home router and from my home router it will go to isp1 isp1 will send to isp2 and so on and then it will reach to the destination then again the packet will come back okay so so many processing of packets happen right so the main thing is in case if you do not get ip address then there will be no processing of packet so the main important thing that your laptop has to get is ip address subnet mask and uh, the gateway okay gateway is your home router okay say for example if you check this okay so let me draw this so how exactly it would look like say this is isp1 okay let's say it's a at&t internet service provider so they have given you 1 gbps of internet speed this is your house okay so they will give the connection to the wifi modem okay now your wifi modem is broadcasting the signal and say for example this is your laptop so you will get ip address subnet mask and gateway okay so gateway is nothing but gateway is this particular modem's ip address say for example that is 192.168.1.1 okay so the gateway here will be 192.168.1.1 what will be the ip ip will be something which is in dhcp which is configured in the dhcp inside this modem okay so let's say it is giving you an ip of this okay so dhcp will also give you the subnet mask let's say it is a class c example okay so these three will be provided by your modem the dhcp server along with that you can also configure lease time because since it's a home a uh, purpose you don't want to have some lease time because maximum you are going to have is 4 to 5 users right so even if they are taking it for a month the ips will still be with uh, within your modem okay they they are not going to get exhausted say for example in enterprises these are, these dhcp get exhausted very easily so you set some lease hours of 8 hours say for example if uh if a user is 
not in the network then remove the ip and give that to some other user say for example this user come back then give him a new fresh copy of ip address okay so that is seen in the enterprise but in the home usage we have very limited number of family members might be four family member at one house or something right and we in class c we have possible of 254 ips right so, so we have plenty of them so we don't have to set lease time so my 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 uh, my uh, i i just want to say it's an optional field okay lease time is optional field if you want you can set it or else you can ignore it but these are three important ones okay so that is why this is being shown up on my adapter okay so <clears throat> If you see here, my Wi-Fi adapter will have the IP address. Say this is the Wi-Fi adapter. Okay. Wireless LAN adapter. So nowadays we are getting automatically the IPv6 also configured. The reason is your modem should be capable of IPv6. Okay. And then it will automatically give you. But it's again optional. We are not dependent on IPv6. Because I have a valid IPv4 IP address, okay, and subnet mask, and then default gate, okay. Say for example, I don't want DHCP um, way to get configured, so I can come here, right click, take the uh, access to this, click on change adapter option, okay. This is my Wi-Fi adapter properties i'll go to property i'll click on the ipv4 uh, protocol suit and i can define my ip address manually okay so this is the way how we configure uh, the ip manually on windows platform okay so every platform will have its own way to configure it okay say for example i'm setting the gateway i'm setting one static ip i can give some open dns okay i can give a open dns free dns these dns are provided by google itself it's a free you can just use them okay so this is a way to set it so <clears throat> that was regards to windows platform so let me show you how do we do it on the mac os okay so for mac os i'll just make use of google images okay the things are same it also has dhcp and manual way to get configured okay so this is how you get it on on the network dialog message dialog prompt okay if you are connecting okay let me show you this okay so if you are connecting manually then you can yes do the necessary configurations okay if you want it dhcp just click on this drop down menu and click on dhcp and it will start taking the dhcp values okay so that was regards the mac os Okay, there is. I think you guys should be already knowing this, but since it's included in the portion, I just thought of showing it once. Okay, similar way, <coughs> um, IP interface configuration for a Linux platform. Okay, so say for example here. I had typed IP config, okay, and it gave me lot of messages. So in Linux, you have to type if config, okay. It is not IP config in Linux. Instead, it is if config. The same command will not work here. It will say on Windows the if config is not recognized. This is a Linux command, okay. So what is the command in Windows? It is IP config. And Linux, it is if config. If you have Linux box, then you can try this command. It will give you the CLI way 
to see all the details okay if you want to see it graphical based then you have to click on the network adapter option and uh, yes this kind of dialog prompt will be appeared so you can set automatic dhcp if you want to set your own ip address then go with the manual option fine so that's all for that topic okay setting up the parameters on the three platforms so let's proceed okay